Hi everyone and welcome. This chapter will guide you through a basic implementation of security in a Spring Boot application. Spring Security is a framework that provides authentication and authorization to Java applications. Authentication is used to confirm the identity of the user and authorization is about the privilege and rights of the user and what the user has access to. We can see the diagrammatic representation of this. Now, we will start our coding with a simple REST controller which greets you with good morning. I will open my IDE that is IntelliJ. I will create a new project. Click on next and I will give the group ID as com.notified. Com Artifact as security demo. And description I will I'll change it to demo project for spring security and I will remove, uh, remove the package name and keep it as com.notified. I will check on the developer the spring security. I will uh, check on spring security. Click finish. Import changes. Now I will go to the property file. Resource folder application dot properties. I'll set the server port to seven thousand. Now I'll create a new controller. I'll create a package called controller and have a greetings controller inside the package. New Java class greetings controller. Annotate it with address controller and now I will give a get mapping at get mapping. I will put it as slash morning. When you click on morning, you get a message good morning. So I will have a method public which returns a string get greetings. I made a mistake. This string string. I will return the message good morning. So once it is done, we will try to run this application and check on port 7000. I will just go to the pom.xml and see everything is correctly placed. You have the security dependency and the web dependency here. So now let's run the application and see what happens. Get a generated password here. I am just copying it. I'll open the browser. Local host 7000 bar morning. Now it should present me with with the sign in screen where I put in user and the copied password. When I click on signing, it should give me the greeting good morning. So now the application is working with the security in place. Now what we will do is let us comment out the security dependency and run the application again. Let us comment it out and see what happens. Ideally, it should the application should uh, let you in I'll open a new tab I'll key in localhost 7000 bar morning slash morning now here there is nothing that prevents us from seeing the message before we were having the security dependency which was uh, taking us to a login screen where we will have to key in the username and password. Now what we do is we will um, uncomment the dependency and we will change the default username and password. We will set it as security.user.name equal to hello and security.password equal to world. 
and now with the security dependency uncommented we will run the application again it will it should ask you for the, lo the login screen will appear it will ask you for the username and password which we are given as hello and world if everything works fine once you clean the username hello and the password word world it should let you in the sign in screen has reappeared let's clean hello and world and click on sign in it should give you the greeting message yeah it's working perfectly fine now let us remove the username and password from the property file we'll write java code for setting up the username and password create a new package called config we'll put in the unenable web security annotation We'll all overwrite, we'll auto the password and encoder. Password encoder. Now you should see some squigglies. It is because it will require a bean definition for the password enc encoder. let us override it let us implement the override methods sorry we'll have to extend we'll have to extend the web security configure adapter now let us override the configure method We have the authentication manager builder. Now what we do is auth dot in memory authentication and now for the username with user put in the username as user and then password as dot password. Let us put it as user itself and now the role as user dot roles and put it as user. Now I'll define a bean for the password encoder. Please, please follow along. We will come back to it after running the program. I'll be using a bcrypt password encoder. new decrypt password encoder now we will have to encode the password we will use the password enco encoder which is which was auto wired before to put in as user we will be encoding the password whatever we are keying in now we are all set to run the program. We will make it private. We run the program. Open the browser and go to 7000 slash morning key in user and user if everything is fine we'll get the message yeah it's good morning now let us go back to the application you'll be wondering why we do need a password encoder let us remove it
Once you remove it, you should see Swiglis with the auto wired password encoder. Let us remove that too. Now you should get an error with the password encode method. Let us scan the password directly. Let us rerun the application. And clear the command prompt. Now you should get an error. Let us check on the error. There is no password enco encoder map for the ID null. So we should always have a password encoder when we are doing this. So let us uncomment everything. Rerun the program and make sure everything is working fine. Now, we'll, once it is running fine, we'll come back to the program and use another password encoder, which is no pa password encoder, which is a de deprecated one. But we'll make sure we are aware about it. my mistake I should encode the password here let us use the encode method that comes with the password encoder password encoder dot encode here we will put in user Now everything should work fine. I should put in local host 7000 morning. Now we have good morning displayed here. So everything is working fine. Now what we will do is the spring security has a default logout method that is put logout so you are taken back to login screen you can put in the username and password and sign in again I will put in a wrong username you are getting bad credentials let us put in the right username and password So we have seen login, logout, and everything. Here there is no default mapping for them. Now we'll go with the no password encoder. And, and make some adjustments in the code and put in the no password encoder. I'll comment it. I'll remove this. I'll define the bean. Come, come in the previous one. I'll define the bean again at bean and public password encoder. I'll make a correction with the password. I'll put in the roles also. And the roles as user. Got an extra bracket here. I'll just remove it. Yeah, everything is set for the password encoder. No password encoder. Now let us run the program. Now if you check on messages, we will see the warning 
password no password en encoder has been deprecated uh, let us get to the browser and check on check on the url will be taken to the login screen we put in user and user everything is working fine we are getting the greeting message now let us go back to the previous one and just uncomment that so we are back to normal and check whether everything is working fine okay let us put in as a user so everything is working fine right now thank you thanks for watching the video please do subscribe to my channel and wait for the upcoming videos